everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Chapter 4, Noah Worship God, a time to say thank you. Genesis 8, let's read. Sorry, it says morning now. There was water all over the world, but Noah and his family were sailed, safe. <laughs> so, there were water all over the world, and everyone died except Noah's family, because Noah's family worshipped God and obeyed God and he, they loved God. God told Noah to make a big boat. He told Noah to take his family on the big boat. He told them. He told Noah to take all the animals too. God was truly thanking care of, taking care of them all. <laughs> So God told Noah to make a big boat in yesterday's story. So Noah obeyed God and made a big boat. And he told Noah's family to go along with the big boat and the animals too to every kind of animal, one female and male. And God was thinking, taking care for them all the time. They were in the boat for many days. One day Noah looked out. The water was all gone. God has taken it away. So one day, it drained for 40 days and night, but now, so he sent a girl, girl that, and that bird was, has brought a leaf. We must thank God for helping us, said Noah. Noah and his family thank God. God pleased them. So they're thanking for God because God has helped Noah and his family. God showed them a rainbow. You will see the rainbow many times, said God. It is the promise I will not destroy the world with water. Noah was happy with God's promise. So, God showed them a rainbow. It's a promise that God will never flood the whole world again. Sorry. God made Noah and his family and animals happy. So, animals and family were happy. We'll read one more story because there's too much time. Chapter 5, Abraham sacrificed Isaac. Abraham obeyed God. Genesis 22, Abraham worshipped God. He prayed God. He wanted to please God. Abraham was God's friend. So, Abraham was God's friend. Then Abraham worshipped God and he prayed to God.
and he was doing what we just look in the to God. One day God told Abraham put your son in Isaac on the altar God said he will die there. Actually when he was hundred years old he have got Isaac but when Isaac was a boy God said put your Isaac put your son Isaac on the altar. So let's see Abraham will obey or disobey. Abraham was very sad he did did not want his son to die. But God said he must do this. What should Abraham do? But Abraham was very sad because he had son Isaac gone hundred years old with the man. Hundred years old. And maybe Isaac was a boy when Isaac was a boy, God says to sacrifice. Isaac on the altar. That means Isaac will die because they it is an altar and there is Isaac and he have to kill him. You have to kill Isaac. So he was thinking that should I do or not and maybe he was confused also because God he knew that God said that Oh I didn't erase that story. So Abraham was very sad. He did not want Isaac to die. But Abraham trusted God and obeyed God. Abraham knew he must do, he must obey God. So Abraham put Isaac on the altar. So God, Abraham trusted God. But God didn't let Isaac to die. Stop! God said, I do not want Isaac to die. Now, I know now that you really obey me and trust me. So God said, when Isaac was going, uh, Abraham was going to kill Isaac. That time God said stop. Abraham was happy. He went home with Isaac. Are you happy that Abraham obeyed God? Yes. And you know that instead of Isaac, they sacrificed a goat because in the bush, goat was there. So they sacrificed that. Yes, today I read the Bible story, did I die? And next time I will read another good story. And let's see you next time. Bye!